Danny Green's ready to fight, but not before he chats with us. I'm world boxing champ Danny Green's fighting fit ahead of tonight's big bout in Perth. Green's trainer reckons he's regained the speed that allowed him to defeat Roy Jones Jr. in 2009, but the champ hasn't ruled out retirement after he takes on American Danny Santiago. Well, he's lean, he's mean, he's Danny Green, and he is with us now. Danny, this is unheard of, interviewing a, a boxer so close to a fight. Thank you so much for your time. Let's talk preparation. I mean, Charlie, before the show, he's a mess. How are you before a fight? <laughs> Uh, look, <clears throat> I can do this because I'm relaxed, I'm calm and, and, you know, the training camp's been fantastic and I'm, I'm ready to roll. So we try and do things to keep my mind off of what's going to happen in a couple of hours because I've been thinking about it for seven or eight weeks. So at what stage, Danny, does the mean green fighting machine actually kick in? Well, <laughs> kicks in pretty soon. <laughs> kicks in pretty soon, <laughs> you know, as you can see. Right, so, uh, Danny, you know, look, look, <laughs> puzzle book's just there, buddy. Puzzle book's just there, mate. You were yeah. sitting at the desk, good, Lee, I think that was you. Yeah, well, yeah, Sweet, mate. Hey, OK, Danny, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Who are those people and what are they doing? Well, that's my strength trainer with the nunchuckers. He's just warming up and getting himself in the zone, and that's my trainer, Angelo, and I'm not actually sure what he's doing, but uh, <laughs> that's pretty standard. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Danny, I hate to get back to business, but a question you probably don't want to be asked, to be honest, but after you knock out Santiago tonight, will we see you fight again? Oh, look, I'm not sure, Lemo. I'm, I'm honestly very, very relaxed and very calm, and people might think this is, you know, we're taking it easy. We're not taking this easy. I, I don't think anyone's ever seen me take a fight easy. Tonight's a serious thing and could possibly be my last fight, but I'm just taking it each fight as it comes, and, and really... I want to be successful after losing my last two fights and this is my last fight at home in Perth at Challenge Stadium. So I just want to stay cool, stay calm and go out there and hopefully be devastating. I've got to ask, when all this is over, when the fight is gone, what's it going to be first, a burger or a beer? As crazy as it sounds, I'll, I'll, I'll tuck into a, in one of my Redback Protein Shakes because I've been out of keeping this condition physically because I look after my body. So hopefully I've, I'm, I'm successful, I can do the job tonight and win and do Australia proud. And then, uh, fair chance, I'll be guzzling a fair few tinnies back with the boys. Yeah, maybe even just put a Sam Booker in the protein shake. That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never, I never thought of that. It's a good idea. It's a real good idea. Hey, uh, now, Danny, we've just heard from a hen's night in the area. They want to hire your trainer as the stripper. Is that OK? <laughs> yeah, I'll speak to him. I'll, I'll get back to you. I'll just check what his rate is. <laughs> but All right, seeing Danny. the condition he's in his age, he's probably going to be a bit, bit, bit discounted. But I'll, I'll start to measure it. Well, Danny, all the best tonight, and we'll uh, chat to you very soon. Thank you very much for your support, boys. Yeah,